We are live in my fly fishing room, and today we're gonna to talk about tying tippet material to the end of your tapered leaders. We're gonna talk about some best practices, and I'm gonna show you a knot that is easier than tying your shoe. So easy to do. And shout out to one of the Fish On members who requested this video. If you're part of this group and you want me to film something, I'm gonna do it for you. And here's the video today. Tapered leaders, right? Tapered leaders generally come at about a nine foot length. There are three reasons why you might wanna tie tippet to the end of this tapered leader. One is you wanna lengthen a nine foot tapered leader. So you can tie a length of tippet to the end of this tapered leader and make it 12 feet, 15 feet long, whatever you'd like. Or the second reason why you'd wanna tie tippet to this tapered leader is if you've managed to get a wind knot in the tapered leader, you do want to cut that out and retie it. Anytime you have a wind knot, it's a weak point in your line. So cut that out and tie a piece, a tippet onto that section you just cut off. And then finally, as you're cutting flies or cutting off flies, you're tying on a fly and you retie and you retie and you retie, that leader, that tapered leader gets shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And eventually you might be down to about seven and a half feet. So you're gonna to wanna to pull off some of this tip and material to re-lengthen that tapered leader back to nine feet. This knot is easier than the knot you use to tie your shoes. So let's get into the tutorial. And since I'm not feeling great right now, my voice isn't super strong, I'm gonna have a celebrity guest star do the voiceover as we tie this knot together. To tie a surgeon's knot, follow these steps. Hold the two ends of the leader and tippet material parallel to each other. With about a four inch overlap, create a closed loop by crossing one end over the other. Pass both ends through the loop twice. Finally, pull on both ends simultaneously to firmly tighten the knot. Cut off the excess tags and you're done. Let's do this. Fish on. All right, pro tip. So as you begin to cut more and more into this tapered leader, you're gonna get through the tippet section that's on this tapered leader and into the butt section. If you get too far into the butt section, you'll notice the line will start looking like 16 and 20 pound test. Generally, the knot strength lessens when you try to tie on something really thin to something really thick. So if you've gotten too far back into the butt section of this tapered leader, it's time to just get a new leader, right? Don't try to tie on some 20 pound test to a uh, you know six pound test, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna hold, it's not gonna seat right. All right, just as simple as that. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about tapered leaders and tippet, check out this video right here. I promise you after watching this, it'll all come together. You'll understand exactly what you're looking for with tapered leaders and, and tippet when fishing for trout. All right, till the next time everybody, fish on.